This is going to be interesting. We got a vodka alternative today. We, kind of strange. We were just talking about that. I don't think it's a vodka alternative. Yeah. <laughs> People are wishing to have one, but I don't think we're going to put all that label on top of Optimist here today. I would like to accept it as just an alternative spirit for those who are sober and sober curious. Yeah, which is us. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm Donovan Rittenbach. This is Rachel Radcliffe. And we've been sober for quite a long time. Mm-hmm. We're on a, a journey to try and explore new and exciting non-alcoholic beverages. Yep, and so we have tried Optimus Smoky, and then I really enjoyed it. And so I got the Optimus Bright and the Optimus Fresh, but we're going to try the Bright today. Uh, they are an L.A. company, which I, I really mm. enjoy that they're mm-hmm. kind of local, uh, <laughs> at least to California. And they use uh, no sugar, no artificial flavors. They're vegan. They're non-GMO. They're, you know, all the good things. Gluten-free for yeah. your wife. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to make a drink off of their recipe card. And we're also going to be using this cool uh, pomegranate shrub as well and the shrub is a kind of like a flavored vinegar this has a pomegranate flavor that's very intense and we've really been enjoying it got it at a little farm up in the vacaville area the optimist by the way these are these things that always have super interesting labels lemon jasmine green mandarin lavender turmeric Corn mint, orange, tangerine, fennel, myrrh, and cinnamon leaf. So that promises to be a very interesting combination. Mm -hmm. Do we want to try it just straight? So when we tried the smoky, it had a lot of spice and it made me sneeze. This is (laughs) not making me sneeze, so that's a good one. It's kind of minty. Yeah, that corn mint really jumps to the foreground. Mm-hmm. What else was in here? Myrrh. Myrrh, yeah, it definitely has an earthy tone, but it is a floral note overall. Definitely not a vodka alter- alternative. Vodka has yes. no flavor. <laughs> exactly. This has a lot of really interesting flavors. Yeah. I really like the botanical blend in here. It's, it's different. It's different than what we've tasted before. Mm -hmm. All right, so I put pomegranate, Optimus. I'm going to top it off with a little topo. Topo chico. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I like that. Mmm. All right, we've, this is our third cocktail using this pomegranate shrub. This one's my favorite. Yeah? Oh, yeah. has a lot of complexity. There's something, there's some kind of spice in here that's coming through with the pomegranate. They just like, they just like love each other. So one of the things about the pomegranate shrub mm. is it does well with citrus. Mm, and yeah. this has, right, like the lemon, green mandarin, and orange, mm-hmm. and tangerine. Yeah, it has a lot of different essences from the oranges and maybe it's the myrrh. I don't know. Something in there is like really coming through stronger than what I tasted on its own. A little bit like eating incense. It is. It's like eating incense, but I love it. Kind of like Wilderton, their earthen Mm -hmm. has like that frankincense, which is really strong. This has something in there that's very earthy and it works really well with the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. definitely a drink that you could serve at a party so your drinkability scale oh it's a nine I'm making this again tonight (laughs) so the actual recipe from Optimus said pomegranate syrup molasses pomegranate molasses and pomegranate juice this is a different take on it you know it's got a lot of apple cider vinegar in here but it's got that sweetness which balances out Mm. You can definitely just, it's like appreciating a fine piece of art. Yeah. Diff, all the different levels. 
Yeah, and if I told someone that this was a vodka drink, they would laugh at me. Mm. <laughs> it's not. It's <laughs> something completely different, and I appreciate it for what it is. Nice. Well, that's a winner. Mm-hmm.